Good afternoon, and we're back. This is Sherry Rhodes. I'm Pippa Britton, and we're back here now for the uh, recurve medal matches. The recurve medal matches are going to be set at 70 meters. It is a set system match play, meaning the first athlete to acquire six set points is the winner of the match. I think this is going to be a very good match between these uh, two competitors this afternoon. Uh, the bronze medal match, both of them have survived a single arrow shoot-off to get through to this stage and uh, there was only 10 points between them in the ranking round. So I think, uh, I think this could be a, a very exciting match coming on. Recurve Women's Opens category. Here come the athletes. Irina Rossiskaya from the Russian Federation, ranked number 10 from the qualification round, shooting on target number 2, will be paired against Elisabetta Nino from Italy. And we've seen Elisabetta before, she's been in the uh, Paralympic Games in London, so she's a very experienced athlete. Unlike the VI matches that we just saw, these athletes will come in and get no opportunity for practice on the targets. Their first arrow will need to be as good as they can shoot it, so they have a good indication on if there is a difference in wind drift from the practice field, which is just 30 or 40 yards uh, to the west of us. The distance we know is for sure the exact same, but the wind conditions could be a little bit different that 30, 40, 50 yards away, depending on, on where they were. There's a little bit of a, uh, of a difference here in the finals so we venue. We've got a, now, a tall no six-foot fence that separates matches. this finals venue from the ended. practice area, and there are uh, event banners along the fence, and it could, could make a slight wind break, and at 70 meters, uh, that might be a difference. Elisabetta starting out the match as she has chosen to shoot first, being the highest ranked archer. And she started well with a nine. nine. Arena's not wasting any time. She's at full draw quickly. Let's go with 11 well, seconds left on the nine. clock. Nine. Also scores a nine. I, I said Sherry, didn't I? I thought this was going to be a really exciting you, match. You called it before they even got out on the field, Pippa. Insider knowledge from a co <laughs> competitor, former competitor? Ah, maybe. Another nine. Oh, Elizabeth is shooting really well at the moment. We were talking just a little bit about the possibility of wind being dif different between this final venue and the practice field, but we're still not seeing me much measurable wind at all here. Maybe a meter per second is all. Irina's just got one arrow to shoot, and it's very close between the two archers. 998 for Elisabetta from Italy. Took a bit of time on that last arrow. Irina let go with three seconds left on the clock. I, uh, I thought she was going to be holding that one forever. But it's a tie on the first end. It's the first tie we've seen this afternoon, and uh, the set points then are split, so the archers get one, one point each. That means we'll probably be going to at least four sets in this match. Tell an archer gets to six points. And if the archer gets if the archers, both archers, manage to tie every end, we'll finish the match at five and five, and it'll be a sudden death, single arrow shoot off closest to center. And that, that closest to center arrow can be identified either by score or by measuring the arrow. If they're the same score value, then we measure it. If there are different score values, it's obvious then which arrow is the closest to center. And we had a very exciting uh, 
match earlier in the week where there was a single arrow shoot off and they were too close to call and they had to shoot a second arrow. That's good competition when two distinctly different athletes on two different targets can shoot an arrow that was that is in with within so millimeters of the center of the target on at the same one, time. Elisabetta will shoot first as the tie rules dictate. The archer who started the match will shoot first in a tie situation. Elisabetta looks really in control of that shot. She's holding for quite a while though. Yeah. Counting down clock, she lets go at three seconds. But she scores a nine. If you're not ready, what's the sense in shooting it early? <laughs> That's true. A little bit quicker from Irina on that. It was, but she scores a 10. Wonderful. Crowd very much into this match here, appreciating a 10. Nine. Right next to her first arrow, both in the nine. Solid shot. That's an eight from Marina the Russian, which puts the archers tied with one arrow each to shoot. Not a happy face from Ms. Elizabeth when she lets go of that one and it drifted wide left. Is this a chance for Irina to take the lead? Not quite a capitalization on that. I think sometimes you're a little aware of what your opponent's done. You think, I only need to score whatever it happens to be and then those, those arrows can drift out all too easily. Unofficially now, Elizabeth leading three set points to one for Arena Rosaskaya. We're seeing confirmation from the archers' agents at the target. Nobody's disputing the value of the arrows, so we'll call it a confirmation, and that means Irina will shoot first when we start this third set. And you may see the runners coming back with three arrows from the target, so the archers shoot their first three arrows when they're retrieved. They shoot the second three arrows before they get the, neck, the first three back. And all these people collecting the arrows and bringing them up back to the archers, they're all volunteers. Sometimes it pays to be a volunteer in this position here. You get the best seat in the house. <laughs> That's for sure. Right on the field of play. bit of a false start from Marina there. She raised her bow before the signal was given to shoot, so she set it down and started over again. She realized her mistake before the judge well, called her on it. She still put in a solid eight. Nice recovery. Didn't seem to bother her. Six seconds left on the clock when Elizabeth lets go. Scores a nine. Our first arrow has been pretty solid, 999, nine, nine, consistent. Yeah. Irina managed to pull that one six. just a bit left. The scores are six. Is this a chance for Elisabetta to move ahead even further? Seven. She scores a seven. Maybe the nerves get into them a little bit out there. She's got a group down there, a little low, a little left. I wonder if she's thinking, oh, she is. She and the coach had a discussion about the site. She just gave it a tweak. Pino, seven. 
7, Dolly, 23 zu 21, die nächsten zwei. Elisabeth mit 7 auf ihrer finalen Arrow, which gives her a 23 to Irina's 21, which means that uh, she moves another set ahead, but it's still all to play for. I always think the bronze medal matches are the hardest matches because if you're in a gold silver match and you and you don't win the match you still get the silver medal but if you lose the bronze medal match you don't get anything at all and I I always think that's a that's a real shame it's a hard match to be in a lot of sports when they get to this scenario they don't even play off the gold that's something that I didn't know yeah. in some team sports they they don't contest the gold yeah uh, you, once you've been eliminated, you're not playing anymore. Whether it's a single elimination yeah. or a double elimination, you very ve very seldom see a, uh, a bronze medal match for in a baseball. All oh, right, elimination. Wow. Yeah. Of course, in boxing, they give two bronze medals. No, that's a thought, isn't it? They both they both contested. Yeah. It's just yeah, an interesting interesting prospect to think about whether e each archer deserves a medal. Irina will start us off as she is down set points as we start the fourth set of this match. Oh, it's a nice shot. She's got a Very nine just nice outside shot. the ten. Looked solid out there in control of that shot. Pino, seven. Oh, Elisabetta drops a seven a little low. I was going to say that one looked a lot like the first it one she did. shot. Very solid, Very another nice. nine. Elisabetta from Italy res responds with a 10. Last arrow of this set for Irina Rosaskaya. And what an arrow it is, another nine. Solid in. Which means Elisabetta needs to score a 10 to tie this end. Can she do it? No, she can't. Irina takes the set and gets two points. Uh, was, if you notice the arrow pattern for Irina, most of her arrows are low, and even though they're in the gold, uh, I watched the communication between her and her coach after that last arrow, and, and she tweaked the sight just a little bit. One click can make all the difference sometimes on your sight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just the mental aspect that I'm gonna and fake it. I don't even have to turn it, but I'm gonna. You know. I'll admit to being one of those archers who, once upon a time, I would move my sight maybe two clicks down and then two clicks back up again. Yeah. So it was in the same place, but mentally it made the difference to me. Interesting. The mind is a is an un unbelievable thing. I don't and know if it's good archery practice that. <laughs> 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 and the things it can tell you, and the things it will. <laughs> And the things you tell it, and sometimes I don't always match. But somehow I felt like I was doing something. Sometimes it's all you need. The scores appear to be confirmed. The activity at the target as arrows have been pulled. The uh, target and the scoring judges have left the field. The line judge has, has given us the okay to start. Arena will start us off. as She is still down by two set points, but she's narrowed the gap. Holding a bit longer than she did on the last set. Shoots a an eight to the right. And the windsock is drifting a little to the right from here. It says one meter per second. 
Oh, an eight from Elisabetta also. And, and an eight on the right as well. Maybe there is some truth in the windsock, and maybe the athletes need to be paying a bit more attention to it. I think she may have done aimed a little left, mm -hmm. gone a little left. But still, an eight's a good solid shot. Another eight for Elisabetta. Their scores are tied at the moment. Right together, those two arrows. Nice group. Don't see much action from her to change her sight, though. Rossi Skaya with a nine just sneaks it in the lower part of the target there. See Elisabetta taking a deep breath there before she's shooting this arrow. And she gets a nine. Wow, that's an amazing last arrow that she shot them to take the bronze. Really amazing. Well done. Hope from the coach. Close match. The higher ranked archer takes the bronze medal. But uh, yeah, I think that was a that was a great match for us all to watch. It was. Good back and forth. Good comeback from Irina Sosaskaya. She put a challenge to Elizabeth. Arrows coming back from down range. Congratulations to both competitors. And I'm sure Irina is a very good archer, and I'm sure she'll she'll have another opportunity to to win a medal at a major championships.